Eleven-year old Osama Muhammad is one of millions of Nigerian children forced to work in conditions like this. He dropped out of school when he was eight to join the ever-growing number of people working in mines across Nigeria. For him, the pay justifies the pain. With the little I earn here, I support my family and take care of my own needs. Yes, it is hard work, but what options do I have? I'm happy with what I do. Osama says his parents are happy with him working, but admits he'd rather be in school with his mates. With support from a local musician, Osama and others brush aside the potential dangers of this work. They dig for gold in tunnels hundreds of meters below the surface with no protective equipment. Some have been killed or injured. This is the side where Muhammad Osama and his fellow laborers come to regularly to earn less than a dollar a day. Like thousands of poor, unskilled miners, this back-breaking job is the only viable option of getting food for their families. Yet despite the dangers, they feel lucky to be here. The stones dug by Osama and others are brought here to be crushed. Then the extraction process begins. <laughs> These are the dealers who fund most of the operation, which means they make most of the profit. They reject the idea that using children like Osama is exploitation. We offer them an opportunity of a lifetime. Most of the people here are from poor families. They can hardly afford three meals a day, but these young men can support themselves and their families. They are better off than the educated. Back at the mine, Osama's focus now is to make money and probably be a dealer himself. There are millions like him in Nigeria who are out of school and out of luck at the moment. And unless the government finds a way of stopping their exploitation, millions more will never know the joy of childhood. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Dan Company. <laughs>